Okay. I am very nervous. <laughs> this is going to be a nerve-wracking episode. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, welcome back to more Monster Hunter Freedom. I do look a little bit different this time around because our boy Jimbo, <laughs> can't believe I named him that, has Gravios Armor. The skills the Gravios Armor has at this point in the game are very, very nice. Uh, this armor in general is very good because we're not fighting anything that's going to do dragon damage to us yet. We won't be doing that for a long, long time. Oh. And the only thing that can really do water damage to us is Plesioth. And every other monster we're going to be fighting has fire or water, or does fire, water, or just pure physical damage. So, this armor is great, plus its skills are awesome. We get health plus 10 because we get strength. Uh, our... Faint almost goes down. But we get health plus 10, which is awesome. And we get heat reduced by half. So if we go out in the desert and we don't have like a cool drink on or something, the heat damage is reduced by half, which is great. We're going to be doing a very, very cool thing in this episode. We are actually going to be doing missions in the Gathering Hall. I have done all of the required missions off screen. Now, I will be going over a few of the missions that are required that are kind of a pain in the butt. We do have the urgent quest. This will get us to HR2. I don't know if our name changes, but if it does, this little thing down here is going to change color also, and it's going to be really, really cool. The required missions that I know for a fact, now this really isn't on any website. It used to be forever ago, but I literally can't find anything on it anymore. Here are the missions that I've done so far. I know I'm just going through them super quick, but here are the missions that I know are required. Velocipre Lords, you have to do that. Rathalos is in that mission, but it's really not a difficult mission. Oh, crap, my... Okay, it just keeps turning my volume down. The Land Shark, that one is required. The Abs Absaros Egg Hunt is required, and I'll go over that. I'm I'm confident that this mission is required. This mission is a pain in the nuts. Thank God this mission is not required, because this would stop. That's just horrible. Trouble in the Swamp is required. Slay the Gendrom is required. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if Storm of Yenkaku is required, but it's really nice to do this for money and Monster Bone Plus, which I'll go over also. Attack of the Giant Bugs is required. Jungle Menace is required. I don't believe any of the capturing missions are required. I think the only one you have to do is capture a Gypsurus. That's the only one I think you have to do. Honestly, it's not going to kill you to do these missions. These missions aren't really difficult. They don't take too much time, and if you just... Bite the bullet, knock them out, they're not hard. The one that I wasn't too sure of are the Moss Wine Arena and the Absurus Egg Hunt. But I do believe that this mission is required. I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple, like, short tutorial of these missions. Just so you have some clarity and just so you kind of know what's going on. Because these, nothing in the game really tells you what you're doing. But I just recommend doing all the missions that I've done just to be safe. Uh, all the ones that I claimed were required, I would do those first. And if you don't have the mission, do all the ones that I did. And I'm sorry that's super, super annoying, but that's just, there's no more information on this game. This is an outdated and old game. Pretty much what you have to do, you have to kill 50 Moss Wine. And what you can do is you gotta kill, just kill these guys right here. They, wait, is that like epic music playing for no reason? I don't know why the epic music is playing, but pretty much what you want to do is you want to kill the moss wine and carve them because when you carve them, their corpses disappear and more moss wine will reappear once their corpses are gone. Okay, I'm just going to abandon quest. You have to kill 50 within 30 minutes, so you essentially have to kill like at least two per minute, which is not hard at all. If you kill two... In 25 minutes, you'll beat it. And it's not a hard mission. I beat it with like 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes left. If you carve the corpses, they do get better. They are, they do get better. What am I talking about? They do respond quicker, so that's a better way to do it. Now, I get to show you how to do the mother of all annoying quests. And this is probably the hardest mission that you could do. 
not even it's not a slaying quest it's not a, a capturing quest it's not a gathering qu what is a gathering quest whatever this is the abstros egg hunt i am so positive that you have to do this this mission is not impossible i promise you guys can do this what i recommend going into this mission above all else is like three mega juices and i'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to do this i'm serious it's like one of the most annoying missions in the game what you have to do is just follow the route that i'm taking we there is a diablos present in this mission what you want to do is you want to come to zone 10 and mark him make sure you get a paintball on him oh my god he moved to zone 7 what you have to do if he goes to zone 7 is you just have to wait him out there is nothing you can do about him flash bombs would be nice to subdue him while you're running away from him let's see if I can get him right here come on get him okay, okay so flash bombs are going to do really nice at just subduing him while you go here if you have the mega juice you will be able to run without stopping which is amazing and that's the thing you want when you do delivering quests like the uh quartz ore or powder stone or any sort of egg mission come to this cave right here you'll have to deal with uh the Apsaros. i think that's how you say it these guys are annoying as sin pretty much you you have to kill them because they are too fast they will hit you and break that egg faster and you can spell MHF1. <laughs> I'm not clever. I'm not funny. I don't know why people decide to view this willingly. <laughs> I freaking paralyzed him. Oh my god. I struck the fear of God in that thing. Just with a freaking sword. Anyways, you want to kill these guys. And then this is the time where I... Oh. This is the time where I'd be using my Mega Juices. Pretty much... You want to use a Mega Juice and get the egg. I would wait. Honestly, you have to wait until Diablos is out of Zone 7. I'm just doing this to show you where the nest is and where to get the egg. Uh, you get the Herbivore egg and you have to deliver three of these. The best possible route is along the edge where it shows the number 7. Just walk along the edge of that. If you have the Mega Juice, you can run endlessly without stopping and that makes everything so much easier. The way to get Mega Juices is you have to combine Power Extract and a Well Done Steak. How do you get those? Well, to get the Power Extract, you fight... You can do the Moss Wine Arena mission, then they give you Power Extracts. I'm just going to break this because I'm done talking. And pretty much you just follow this route from Zone 7 and straight through Zone 2. Uh, you have to dodge the Genprey, but with the Mega Juice, it's... Very, it's not very difficult at all. I'm going to go ahead and abandon quests to get all my stuff back. You get power extracts. You can do one of two things. Do the Moss Wine Arena mission. Or you can kill Gypsurus. And you can get them from him. You get the well done steaks. You get raw meat. You get a barbecue spit. And I showed you how to do that in a previous episode. You got to time it right. to As soon as the meat turns a little bit darker. Hit X and pull it up. And you'll get a well done steak. I recommend the book of combos. That way you can guarantee the Mega Juice every time. I recommend going in with three. That way you can replenish it every time you deliver an egg. That way you can run endlessly. So, after I've given you that little tutorial on this two missions... Oh, God almighty! <laughs> that was on camera. <laughs> I heard you commentate. Oh, my God. I'm about to do the urgent quest for HR2, which I've never done before. Four horns? Yeah. Let's go. Never done it before in my life, honestly. I did it with you. Uh, what Dylan and I used to do, we used to be bow gunners. Oh, gun. We got the, uh, we got the, uh, the Cephalos, uh, gun. I think it was Maelstrom. Oh, I don't remember that much. I, I do remember that part. It was green. That's the only reason I remember it. And we got, like, Plessioth stuff. Yeah, we had to kill. Armor. Yeah, I want to go ahead and show you a couple of my weapons real quick. I'm, I'm working on stuff. I'm, I got Thin Blade. Uh, I did some research on weapons, and pretty much, elemental damage is great, but you want to go for raw damage. I just got large bone just because it's like a novelty weapon. I really don't want to use it because it's trash. But, when you're looking for a weapon to pick out, go for raw damage. I think what I want to do... Yeah, I'm going into this with Black Belt Sword because I just trust it. Elemental damage only does... 
And I, this is for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I don't know if this game was different. I don't know. Oh, what, what can I do this? Oh, I can order. Oh, I can just change the order. Okay, they're all, oh wow, okay. Shift chart. What? What? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I did some research. I don't know if you know this or not. You probably do. But raw damage is better than elemental damage, right? Um, de it depends on the monster. Yeah. It varies. I don't know the Monster Hunter Freedom 1. I don't either. That's what I'm but saying. Freedom 2 and Unite, like Kyrian. Kyrian is better to raw damage, so you don't really have to use fire. But some monsters, like I think Tigrex, uh, he's really weak to electric. It just, it varies. Yeah, I did some research. I'm almost certain. I could be wrong. But yeah, I did some research on the weapons, and pretty much they say most of the time go for raw, because raw damage is, I mean, it's always reliable, plus well, affinity is not in this game, but just go for raw damage, because it's better to have more raw physical damage than to have more elemental damage, because overall, that's the damage you're going to be trusting the most, and sharpness has to do with it, too. There are some weapons that are just purely gimmick weapons like the Hornetar weapons and the Vespoid weapons are sharpness based weapons and I, I do want to get those later they're just a pain in the butt to kill those things with kill them with poison weapons like poison axe poison battle axe because you can poison them and let them die and then carve them that's the best way to do it so I know I've wasted a lot of your time so far but right now this is gonna be the most stressful thing I've done it's different for freedom one it's just harder yeah. In this fight, I think. Yeah. It's harder than even like the HR5 quest. Or is it good HR5? Is yeah, I don't know. They have so much health, dude. I think it's HR6 in this game. Because HR5 is Rathalos and Raytheon. Yeah. So easy. I think it's Azure Rathalos and Pink Raytheon. Yeah. And, and you'll have good weapons by them, but right now you really don't have that great of weapons until you get well, Monster Hunter Plus. The set, the dual blades. Yeah, so. Here are the items that I'm going into this quest with. I have potions, mega potions, cool drink, obviously. Psycho serum, the power charm, armor charm, rare stakes, just in case I need them. Get flash bombs. I only have one, but I don't need it. Sonic bombs are better to have because I just want to do damage to kill them. I'm not trying to break their horns. I'm not trying to do any of that stuff. Y yes, getting Diablos plus armor would be nice, but I just, I honestly want monster bomb plus. Do they put you, they put you, oh, this is, this is what's going to happen. I think they're going to put you in a random spot. No, I don't think do that yet. I'm almost certain this is where they can. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright. So, do they give you anything? Oh, okay. I don't know if they do that in this game. They really? Might. I, I didn't play this game that much, but... Okay. Because then, it doesn't, get, it doesn't do that until HR 4, you know. Alright, so basically, fighting two monsters is the same as we've done with Troublesome Pair. And I think that's the only dual monsters we've been doing. Alright, so we're going to go to zone 10 first and just take care of this Diablos. Uh, they probably, if they do end up in the same zone together, just leave and, I, I like to leave and wait them out. It, it's a, it's more of a patience game, because I know, like, Dylan's better at fighting them when they're in the, uh, same area, but I just can't do it. I'm not that good. So, am I building you up enough? I can play the guitar. <laughs> yeah. That's really all that matters in life. Okay, and now you want to just go ahead and do this. <laughs> and Dylan can't. Oh, that's trash. All right, so pretty much I'm just going to go for the kill for these guys. I'm not... Oh, my God. Okay. I am not even going to try to break anything in the slightest. Not right now, because once we get to the HR2, we can get a Diablos. I don't think we can do Monoblos um, in the Gathering Hall in this game. They just didn't really care about Monoblos, honestly. Monoblos is more of a gimmicky monster. Diablos was the one that they put the more effort into. So the reason I brought Black Belt Blade is because it has pretty good raw damage and it, I can paralyze these guys, which will be very, very nice. Uh, if you want to bring um, Gunpowder and Screamers, you can make Sonic Bombs, which um, if you can paralyze them like this, it would be amazing. But uh, Oh, there we go. See? We're just going to be getting so much damage off from these guys. God, I can get him right in the sweet spot right here. I can be just like the Vespoid and just paralyze the piss out of him and just... I can just wail on this guy, which is amazing. There are no shock traps in this game like there are in Freedom 2 and Freedom Unite. So if you can get him in the hole like this and keep on paralyzing him, I think you can only paralyze him once within a certain time limit. There takes a certain amount of elemental... Uh, oh crap, are they both in this game? Okay, I thought they were both here. So yeah, we are just going for raw damage right now. He's going to be angry after this. If he is not, I'm going to be surprised. Oh my god, he's not. Oh my 
god. If you guys are curious, these missions were made to be done with multiple people. That's why they're in the gathering hall. That's why they're online. Okay, he's not angry yet, which I am worried because I don't think I'm going to be doing enough game. Okay, he's angry now. Oh, God, this is not going to be good. God, he's going to be doing a crap ton of damage. But there's nothing we can't handle. <laughs> I, I mean, something I might get, not be able to handle, but whatever. Oh, God, this is terrifying. This is just so scary. Uh, the thing you can do to cheat this out is just climb this and let him charge after you because they literally cannot touch you when they're up here. Like, I mean, he can charge at you and... But, I mean, this game is way easier to exploit than Monster Hunter Freedom Unite because when he charges, like when he charges right here, he can get stuck in the wall and... It doesn't shake the rock. In Monster Hunter Freedom 2 and Freedom Unite, it does shake the rock. <laughs> I paralyzed him again. This weapon is so good. I love it so much. Uh, it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. It helps me a lot with Gravios in the beginning when I don't have a water weapon. It also helps me with monsters like this who are just harder, and you can just get a lot of free hits off on them. Um, I hope he's... Is he even close to almost being dead? No, I don't think so. These guys have a lot more health than usual. All right, there we go. Man, if I could paralyze him again like this, that would be so good. Uh, when the other Diablos gets here, I'm going to just crap my pants and run away like a little baby. Uh, because that's just what I'm good at. Like I said, if you want to bring Screamers and Gunpowder for the Sonic Bombs, by all means do that. I probably should have done that. But um, I'm surprised that I'm doing this well, honestly. Because I usually suck at missions like this. And I usually suck at fighting Diablos. Okay, so that was a critical hit. I think that's right. Every time you do a... Every time you have a critical hit, they're going to jump like that. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Maybe critical hits are more of a Monster Hunter Freedom 2 and Unite deal. But, like, I'm pretty sure that that's what it means. Or, like, you've wounded a certain spot to where they just react that way. Oh, uh, yeah. I do not have any plans of breaking his horn because I don't care. Oh, God! Okay. Oh, no. I got to heal. It's the first time I've actually had to heal in this mission. I'm kind of surprised. But I'm not really playing too smart. I do want to save the rest of my Sonic Bombs, though, for the other one, because I have five more. Okay, he's going to come for me. They're a lot faster in this game. Oh, crap. Oh, wow, I didn't even... I don't understand how the physics of that block worked, but it did, which is great. <laughs> he just lunges. That's so funny. Oh, my God. I'm just... I'm sorry. I'm really stressed out because I... I've never done this mission by myself. Never, not one time have I done this mission by myself. Like I said, I used to do it with Dylan. Oh, uh, I did it with Dylan. I don't think, was I ever HR2? I don't think I ever was. I think we got you to HR2. The first time I did it was with Grayson, and then I think we did it with How did that hit me? That's so stupid. Oh God, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm famous. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta get out. I gotta get away. Okay, 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 okay. Mega potions. This is why mega potions are good. I get hit a ton. And I feel like the other Diablos is on his way. I don't know why I feel that way. I'm just paranoid about... God, I wish I could attack while jumping off the thing. Okay, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna be mad. Oh, my God, I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna hit me. Oh, my God. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, he's going to zone four. Sorry, I'm just so stressed right now. <laughs> I could not be more stressed. Take this time, take the downtime to heal and get your stamina back up. Do whatever you can to make sure you're prepared to... Oh god, don't sting me. Make sure your health is full and... Oh my god, okay, whatever. Don't be in... Don't both be in here. Okay, come on. He's gonna be here somewhere. I like how he can just sense that he's in the dirt. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm so paranoid. It's really annoying to watch, but like... Oh, yeah, I got him! All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whale on him. Let's get it. Let's get it. We can do this. Okay, we got this. 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 Oh, God. Thought the other one was here, but he's not. I feel like I'm doing a good amount of damage. Oh, he's limping. Oh, he's limping. Diablos number one is limping. I've cut most of this fight because it's literally just pointless to watch me just wail on this thing mindlessly. Like, it's just not... 
something worth showing, but he's limping. I'm going to do this, guys. I can't believe I got him to limp. Let's see. Uh, we've taken 20 minutes to kill this one. Dylan would be ashamed. Uh, it's just this mission is very brutal. It's hard. Uh, just because they have an ungodly amount of health for Diablos. Diablos already has a bunch of health in the first place. All right, do we got him? We got him? Are we going to get him now? He's limping. I know he's almost dead. He has to be almost dead. Oh, I got him! All right, paralyzed him. Paralyzed him. Paralyzed him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him. Come on. He's gonna die. Yes, we knocked him over again. We just destroyed him. I'm gonna have to abandon and do this again because I can't beat him. Like, I he has too much health, dude. Like, there's no... Well, it's taken me, like... I didn't. It's taken me 25 minutes to kill one. Yeah, you can solo this mission, but like, I mean, it was made to be done by multiple people. <gasps> he's dead! Oh, he's dead! He's dead. I killed him. Unfortunately, we do not have enough time or resources to kill the other one, so I have to abandon. That makes me very upset. I do just want to clarify how tough this mission is. So guys, we did fail this mission. But next time... Next time we're going to get it. And we're going to get it right. I'll see you guys next time when I'm not such a failure. See you guys then.